Today I'm at the Royal Court Theatre in London. Back in 2001, this theatre was completely refurbished and I was the original building services systems designer. Now, 12 years on, I've been invited back to carry out a whole series of tests to confirm that those systems are still working as intended. Today, I'm going to be carrying out a smoke test on the ventilation system in the auditorium behind me. The auditorium has three levels, stalls at the bottom, dress circle in the middle and upper circle above. But first, we're going to start in the plant room. So, we've come upstairs to the main plant room on top of the stage. This is where the ventilation for the auditorium gets conditioned and circulated. So this big grey box on my right hand side is the air handling unit for the auditorium. There's a big fan in there, sucks in fresh air, filters it, heats it or cools it as necessary and pushes it on down through to the auditorium. In a minute I'm going to open this door on the suction side of the fan, bypassing the filters and the fresh air in it. I'm going to use this stage smoke generator at my feet to fill the room with smoke and then I'm going to turn the fan on. Because we've got the door open on the suction side, it's simply going to suck all the air out of this room along with the smoke and push that down through to the auditorium so we can see where it goes. Open the door. Now here comes the smoke. You might not be able to see me after this. And now the fan! And there we go, that smoke's now on its way down to the auditorium and we'll follow it down and see where it comes out. So we're down here in the stalls where we use displacement ventilation to provide the fresh air to the audience. That means the air is supplied through these grills in the floor underneath the seats. It rises up and mixes with the warm air around people and it then convects away to high level for extract. And we'll see how this works when we start the smoke test. Dave, can you send some smoke down, please? Yeah, sure. Just give me a wink for stuff. So displacement ventilation is a very efficient way of cooling auditorium. It uses the natural body heat from the people and it uses the heat from the theatre lighting to create a buoyant convection current which draws stale air away from the people and mixes the fresh air that's coming from the supply system in and around the occupied zone. And we're just waiting for the smoke. I can start to feel it coming up around me at the moment. Hopefully you can start to see smoke appearing from the grills and filling the space around me. I can start to smell it and I can start to um, starting to see uh, smoke everywhere filling the space and indicating to me that all the members of the audience who would be sitting down here would now be completely surrounded by conditioned fresh air. Smoke off please Dave. So now we're in the dress circle and this part of the theatre uses mixing ventilation. So the fresh air is introduced at these grills behind us on the ceiling at high velocity and quite a high temperature differential. That creates turbulence and the fresh air mixes in with the stale air in the space. Looking at the ceiling grills in close up now we can see the smoke start to emerge and very quickly swirling around and mixing with the room air where turbulence is generated at the boundary between the still room air and the fast moving jet of fresh air. This time-lapse sequence clearly shows the effect of mixing ventilation as the smoke penetrates down and fills the entire dress circle space. By now it's also spilling out underneath the upper circle into the main auditorium where it's clearly illuminated by the working lights. Now finally we're back on stage to see that the ventilation is balanced across all three levels of the auditorium. We can immediately start to see smoke emerging at the upper circle level and shortly after that we can see smoke convecting upwards from the dress circle obscuring our view of the upper circle. By now we can see the plume also clearly rising from the stalls displacement ventilation system as the smoke spreads out across the stalls filling the space around all of the seating. So within about 30 seconds of the ventilation starting the entire auditorium has been filled with fresh air. 
Within a matter of minutes, all the stale air in the auditorium has been replaced with fresh air and smoke from our ventilation system. To confirm that everything is working, we have to hang around for long enough to make sure that the extract system is working as well. The smoke is being sucked out from the centre of the auditorium dome and eventually clears away with just a few last dregs being uh, extracted at the moment. As an added bonus, we also got to test the firefighting smoke extract fans. These are located above the stage and are designed to extract smoke from a fire in the auditorium or on stage away from the audience in order to keep the fire exit routes clear. You can see that with the smoke extract fans running, the smoke is being rapidly drawn away from the auditorium, through the stage and discharged at high level through the roof of the building where it won't interfere with the safe escape of the audience or access by the firefighters. So a thoroughly successful day's testing of ventilation systems. And I'm happy to say they all still work exactly as designed. Special thanks to all the crew at the Royal Court Theatre for helping me out in this experiment.